Hello, everybody. You're here with Claro Beauty with your host, Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. Boy, am I happy to be here today and, and greet you all and be with you all. So today we're going to be talking about the Sephora sale. Now, the Sephora sale is starting tomorrow, so I'm a little late with the video. Well, not late, but, you know, I'm not one of the first ones, but I wanted to get on it so you get my choices. Now, it's a combination of, um, of my recommendations for the Sephora sale, but also most of these items are ones that I kind of almost call most haves in the sense that if I had no makeup and I was not doing a YouTube channel, I will go and get them for my stock. So uh, with no further ado, let's begin. And please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so, please ring the bell in the right hand corner so you know when I upload new videos. All right, so I was debating of where to begin because I have a few items that are on my cart and that I will be purchasing tomorrow. And I will show you that at the end because obviously I don't have them with me. So we're gonna be going through a little bit of every kind of category of the makeup and one or two recommendations of each. And then um, I will list them down below per brand. So I'm not gonna be going through them per brand, but I will, um, List them down below per brand, so you see it's gonna be easier, I think. All right, so the first thing I guess will be skincare. I didn't uh, go through a lot of what skincare I would use, but there were just two or three items that I thought that were important to mention. So one of them, and you heard me talk about this all the time, is the Chiseido Beneficence Wrinkle Resist 24 Eye Cream. Uh, the reason I don't, necessarily recommend eye cream all the time and people say sometimes that that's a ripoff because it's a lot more expensive and it's almost the same as the moisturizer you use uh i know there's a debate about it so i don't put eye cream every single time however i do wear this when i'm gonna be using perhaps a concealer or um or a foundation that is a little bit more drying or when i feel my eyes are a little drying or anything that I just need a lot of moisture, not necessarily for my everyday, but for when I wear makeup. And so it really helps smoothing, it really helps illuminating this one. This one has a little bit of illuminating, I feel. It doesn't say anything about it, but uh, you know, some people say, oh my God, when you wear it, it, you know, it does something to your eyes. I'm like, yeah, it probably has some sprinkles, you know, that highlights or that brings light. And you, you think it's, is the cream working on your skin? Uh, I don't. I don't believe so. However, Chiseido is a great, great uh, company. So all I'm saying is I recommend it. <laughs> I hope I'm not going on and on about every product because then we're gonna be here forever. So I'm gonna try to speed it up. So definitely, I recommend that um, for the night for the lips. Uh, this is a big time favorite. I keep hearing everybody loving it. I have to admit, I forget to put it at night. I actually use something else, um, just kind of a balm to my lips at night if I need to or if I remember. I don't necessarily uh, grab for this, but everybody loves it. And when I do remember to wear it, I think it's amazing. And this is the La Neige. So this is the La Neige, and this is a sleeping mask for your lips. It is delicious, and it is a favorite throughout. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. What is that about? Now, I also own some of the uh, Laneige Lip Glow Balms. These are more used through the day. And these have a, a very nice fragrance and they feel great in your in your lips. And I have a couple uh, flavors. Mm, this is grapefruit. It's very nice, very lovely, but they're just kind of a lip balm. But this one, the night one, oh my God, everybody you know, just raves about it. And right now, Sephora has like a gift set and there's several of them. So perhaps you wanna buy it and, and give one uh, flavor to each person or, you know, it has the exfoliating and the whole ritual. So I think it's worth it if you want the, the actual kind of travel size or sample size or gift set. Uh, so again, Laneige. All right. So we've done that. Of course, um, I'll put the tools at the end. Oh, I'll just mention them because 
there are very few. So one thing is, of course, a beauty blender. I will be buying a new one. I always do in, on the sales because, you know, the sponges are expensive. Uh, but with the sale, it's a great deal. And then I just visited a store and the lady had the brush, the Sephora Pro uh, brush number 99. I think it's used for uh, bronzer or contouring, but I fell in love with that brush. So I'm gonna order, it's like $30. And it is sort of in the middle because I do own this 47, which I have recommended in the past, which is also for contouring like this. I love the, the form of this and it, you don't buff it, but you just set it. And I've used that technique for several bronzes and I really, really like it. And so it's in between this and this 73, which if you see is kind of a pointy buffy. This is for, like for blush. This is called Pro Precision Blush. So this one is also very good for the blush or to put the contouring, but it's soft. So the one I'm recommending you today is 99. I will be buying this on my cart. And it's sort of in the middle because it is like this where both sides are like this, it's pointy. It's actually a little more, um, yeah, like diamond like that, but it's a little harder like this one. So imagine harder like this, but on both sides. So imagine the other side. And I really, really like it for applying those kind of sharp things. So I know I have too many brushes, but I just love that brush and it's $30 and it worked amazing. So I am getting that and I'm recommending that. Brush 99, all right. Um, and of course my super favorite, I talk about this all the time, is the IT Cosmetics Dual Ended number seven. This is, and I own three of them or four, and I keep them in my bathroom in my purse, da, 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 da. This is how I apply my foundations. And this is how I apply sometimes some of the cream bronzings and I love them. So that's as much as I'm gonna say about tools. All right, so then moving on to concealer. Now, um, if you've been with me, you know I talk all the time about Charlotte Tilbury correctors, not a concealer corrector. I use this every day, I hit pan, very rare that I hit pan. It's a very small thing. You can carry it everywhere. And because it has that peachy and creamy, I put it always under, and it might not cover like a concealer, but it covers my blueness good enough for me to look natural. And, um, and so I apply it before foundation. I apply it um, almost every day. It doesn't matter what other products I will wear. So definitely a must have, I think. And then uh, when I do want to wear concealers for every day, for sure, I recommend the Kosas. I, I think this is very natural, very nice. It does highlight, it does illuminate, it does conceal. So I really like this one. And then when I want a more formal event or more finished look, I definitely, my favorite is the Pat McGrath concealer and the powder. So those are the choices. Um, this two together, oh my God, is magic. It looks gorgeous. However, I don't know if the ingredients are like the best thing to, or the most cleaner or uh, to use every day. Um, I, my dry, my thing, or in my, I don't know. I just feel weird about it. So I use my Kosas for every day or nothing with the, just the Charlotte Tilbury. But when I really want to look nice, I use this. All right, moving along. Oh, I didn't put foundations. Well, foundations, you know, I love my backstage Dior foundation. I'm one end and I like its primer. So I have here two samples. So it's the Dior backstage primer and the Dior backstage foundation, which is actually what I'm wearing on this side of my face. I just did a video uh, with which side you like best and I'm wearing two. This one is actually the um, House Labs from Lady Gaga, the new foundation is on this side. And then on this side, I'm wearing the Dior Backstage. So this has been a favorite of mine forever. I have recommended it every day, natural, you can't go wrong with it. So I recommend that. 
Uh, for me, I don't wear foundation like this every day. So what I usually do wear quite a bit is the Westman Atelier Stick Foundation. I love this thing. Now it doesn't give you a completely finished look. It's more natural. You just cover here and there, but it's super creamy. You forget you have it on. It feels good on your skin. And so for every day, I prefer something like this. And lately, so I recommend those two foundations. And lately, uh, once I apply this and I wait a couple of hours, it doesn't look as fresh as nice and all, everything else. I do go back and this is new and this is a, um, a you know a formulated powder but I do go and get the Dior what is it called Dior forever natural velvet um, compact foundation so this is kind of a silky powder now I have made a video that this Dior powder was like my best secret ever and loved it for many many years well, they just reformulated it this year. And at the beginning, I was like, it's different. I don't know. Now, I'm in love with it. So I really like this thing. You can see how dirty that is. Excuse me. Um, it does have um, this one-sided that is very silky and the other that is very spongy. You use it for different reasons. But I use the silky side. That's why this is so dirty. And I do apply it after just to cover here and there. And it just does wonderful things. So I definitely recommend this. Uh, on setting powders, I, I also like the Westman Atelier powder. It's supposed to be kind of skincare for your skin. And I like it. I don't love it like I do this. And I would apply just a little bit here and there if you're glowy, if you're shiny, if you if you wear a foundation that is a little sticky or creamier, it's great to just set it, but very lightly here and there. This one I wear to blur, to cover, to so very different reasons. I recommend both, but if you're gonna get one, I mean I think this is like lifesaver. All right. Um, so moving on to uh, bronzers, of course. So I have several because I think I, I love them all. So one that I really, really like, I don't reach for it every day, really makes me look like I went to the beach. It's, it's just gorgeous, is the Westman Atelier. And um, so it's good for your skin and it's this. And then I definitely, definitely recommend the powder brush that goes with it. And this brush, I love it to use with this bronzer and to the Westman Atelier powder. So this brush is perfect for both of them and it was meant for both of them. They, don't, they call it powder brush. And so this bronzer is very, very lovely. Actually, let me just apply a little bit. You see the difference. It immediately kind of brings you this, um, I have other things which I will show you what I have, but this bronzer can make you look so natural, uh, but really bronzing. I don't think I would use this as a contour uh, because it does have a bronzing quality, but it's just gorgeous. It does the trick. I just love it. Now, this is a little more golden. It's not orange, but you just saw what it did. A little more like, uh, yeah, that golden beach, which is very hard for me to find for my skin tone. So this does it. And something similar to this will be, and I actually really love it, and this is a favorite throughout, is the Gucci. I bought number two. It has a little bit more of that color as well. So I think these two for that kind of look are gorgeous. But this one has a little more red, so more terracotta. Uh, and this one is just this golden beautiful. But let me apply a little bit of the Gucci so you see... Um, a little bit of, you see immediately brings a little more red to it. Uh, so you could contour a little bit with the Gucci and also bring the bronzing look. Uh, so again, a little bit different. If it's between the two, which one I would go and get, I will go for the Westman Atelier because I just love it. Uh, but again, this one has a little more red and it's very, very lovely. And it does kind of smooth your skin. The same as the Westman Atelier. So those are two choices. I love them both.
but if I had to choose one, it's this one. If I, it, it, one of those that if I didn't have a YouTube channel or makeup, which one I would go buy immediately would be the Westman Atelier. Now, I did wanted to definitely mention the um, Tom Ford Terra. I pull this all the time. This is a small size. And this one I don't use to bronze like I just did. This one I use more for contouring because it has a little more cool tone. And, um, and But I pull it all the time. So if I had to choose between these three, I would go for this one. Uh, but for very different reasons. This one won't do what I just did with the other two. Um, I also have here the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, you know, this one is very, very lovely. This is two. And this one also smooths your skin. It just looks uh, very nice. But I find that this one doesn't look as natural as, as the two that I just wore, just like uh, every day. This one will bronze you very, very nice, but a little more put together, like a little more up in, in how you're going to apply your makeup. However, it's still gorgeous. And of course you can wear it for every day. Like I just did. I just wouldn't prefer it for that. Um, and one that it is in my card and I will go through what is in my card at the end, but I just want to mention, I will be getting it. And I did try it is the Haas Labs, uh, bronzers and I'm gonna get level two. And if you want a uh, less expensive version than the Terra Tom 4, which I totally recommend, I think that House uh, Labs new with their less expensive has a very similar tone and very similar effect. So when I get it, I can compare both, but I think uh, I really liked it. It's very matte and very contouring and beautiful. Uh, natural sort of tones. All right, so now brushes. How are we doing with time? Okay, so blushes, uh, of course you have the cream blushes and you have the powder blushes. I'm a big time Dior blush lover. So definitely, um, and Sephora doesn't have like a huge, uh, you know, selection of blushes from Dior because Dior has many more when you go to a department store or directly to their website. But I would definitely recommend the Rose Montagne. Rose Montagne was a bestseller. And Rose Montagne is beautiful because it has pink, peachy, has a little bit of mm, quality. It goes with everything. So um, it's one of those almost most halves. It's one of those that you cannot go wrong. I mean, it's not pinky, but you know, it does the trick kind of in this peach pink lift you up neutral goes with everything. So I really recommend this. I'm not so sure if they have the, um, Charnel there. They used to, because this was a limited edition. This is a little more Brown. Um, and so I like it. Uh, I'm very happy I have it. This might not be like a must have or love or, you know, staple you want to have, but I, I really like the tone. Uh, but if it's just one blush, I would go for the other one. And just an honoring mention, they do have this tone four. this one came out new this year. And this is the, um, Ecla Nu. It's what I was wearing when I started the channel. I mean, when I started the video. So it's a very light, natural, but when you combine them, it does the trick. It's, it's very lovely. So honoring mention, you know, not a must have, but you know, I do like it. All right. Um, now cream blushes. Sephora right now is running. It has a gift set of the Merit. Uh, it has like three minis. And I think they include the Cheeky, the Beverly Hill, and one nude shade, which is more terracotta. I think that set is a must have if you don't have any of them. I have two of the shades of the three, so it doesn't make sense for me to buy it, although I really like the third shade. But uh, I really, really like this um, cream blushes. Uh, very easy to apply. I mean, very, you can't go wrong. It's not something that you apply and then you have a struggle spreading. Creamy, light, nice to spread, gives you enough color, lasts a little long. 
you know, so very natural look. I love married blushes and the lipsticks. I will be talking about those a little bit. Uh, I don't like their foundation stick. I prefer Westman Atelier, but this thing's very, very worthwhile, I think. Um, and on that note, the Westman Atelier stick blushes, they're also very good. They're a lot more expensive. Uh, and I find that the married coloring or color is just a little more complimentary. So if I was between the two, I don't know. I mean, I'm a big fan of Westman Atelier. I own her whole line. So because of that, I will buy it. But perhaps the Merit are uh, very, very lovely blushes in that sense to, to just wear. All right. Um, what else did I want it to go by? Well, let's go into lipsticks. I want to go into the glosses because there's so many nice glosses. Um, but let's go into some lipsticks. Well, lipsticks I have, I'm going to recommend Merit. These are lovely. They're creamy. The color is perfection. They're everyday. Uh, really very, very, very nice. Now, which colors do I recommend? Now, I tried in the store the Slim. I never thought that was going to look good on me because it was too light. And usually those wash me out. And I have many lip balms. So I thought I don't want a very neutral brownish sort of, you know, lipstick. So I never tried it, but I just tried it recently. And I tried it because the person helping me had it on. And I'm like, oh my God, I love your lipstick. What, what is it? And she says, it's Merit Slim. And I'm like, Slim, it's so light. So I went and tried it, loved it, loved it, loved it. And why did I love it? Because it has this brownish to it, but it has a little bit, I don't know, it ends up showing the pink the pink in your lips. How is that possible? I don't know. But so it doesn't stay in the brown like most of them do. It shows a little bit of pink in the center. It kind of, I don't know. I love it. Of course, I'm going to show it to you as soon as I get it. It's in my cart. But I really, really liked it. And um, with that, I'm going to be wearing it. I'll talk about lip liners um, in a little bit. But just to mention it to wear with that, this Charlotte Tilbury and this I'm telling you, I love it, love it, love it. It's been so useful for many things with bold colors. Even with red, I kind of put it to, to put a little darker on the sides. This is a uh, Lip Cheat Foxy Brown. Oh my God, have I loved this liner. It is brown and I own many other browns. Um, very close to that shade. But I don't know what is it about this one. It's just special. I don't know if it, it just goes well with pink. I mean, it just goes well with peach. It just goes well. And it's not just brown where the line is like to see. It just melts. It uh, uh, And of course, Charlotte Tilbury lip liners are delicious. So any of their colors. Of course, she's famous for the Pillow Talk lip liner. Uh, probably not my favorite. I think my favorite, uh, oh my God, I didn't pull it here, but it's, it starts with an S. It's this, um, I'll list it down below. So I have here many, but I have so many. Let's see if I pull it out by accident. Leap cheat, hot, hot gossip. No, it's not this one. There's another one, but, um, I'll name it down below. Let's see if it's this other one. Yeah. Super size me. I knew it started with an S. Super Size Me is another color that I really like. Here I am, I jump into lip liners, but so Super Size It and uh, Foxy Brown, really, really, really recommend this too. All right, so continue with the lipsticks uh, from Merit. These are extremely creamy, and, uh, and the colors I recommend is Fashion. This is a little bolder, I mean, but they're very creamy and sort of transparent. So love this color, it's very complimentary. But if you want those kind of light, barely there sort of thing, like slim will be. Um, uh, this Millennium, I really, really like this one. Uh, Millennial. This one is more in the pinkish and the slim that I'm recommending is more in the brownish, but 
They're just so comfortable. They last, they're creamy, they feel like lipsticks. Uh, they're not bombs. They're so I really recommend this one. So those are the three colors, the fashion, the millennial, and the slim. The slim is just perfection. All right. So what else I have here for you? Um, there is, of course, and I've talked about this, there's this Kiss Kiss Guerlain. These are bombs. I own four of them. They are in the expensive side. You, you would call crazy for, <laughs> this is crazy for a bomb of this price. Um, but I keep reaching for them. I just love them. I love them all. The four that I have, this is Poppy Glow. I have another one that is more fuchsia pink and it just gives you a little pinkish. And I have another one that is more violet. I don't remember the names, but um, they're just lovely. I don't know what's in them, but I really recommend them. I mean, get one, but they're on the expensive side, definitely on the expensive side. Okay, um, and then I wanna talk about this Guerlain, uh, I mean, Givenchy, Givenchy kind of velvet uh, lipsticks. There is, and I don't have it here, what is this? This is 16, but the color 18. And I have a video on it if you wanna look at, this is 16, uh, which is lovely too, I do use it. But then there's the 18. The 18 is very close in color uh, so perhaps, I don't know what I was thinking to buy both, but <laughs> I know what I was thinking. This one stays here and I do pull it out and the other one is downstairs and I do pull it out. So I'm glad I have both, but the reality, they're very close, but this is 16 and again, 18 is one of my favorites. So I love this ones. I don't know why they just cover, it's kind of a balmy, but a little more coverage. Um, yeah, and they, you see, they kind of dry, kind of matte, powdery. You see the other ones have a little more shine. This one kind of dries very, like you don't have it there. They don't have this sort of, this has a little, I'm scared to say shine, but you know what I mean. It has a little something, light reflecting or something. The other ones look like you pot them, like you barely, it, it, it just velvety. I don't know, it just looks great. I really recommend the, the pink. Uh, what are these called? They are Le Rouge Sheer Velvet. So the Sheer Velvet formula, love. Uh, they have other formulas. There's one that comes in this black leather and some of these, uh, I love this. I mean, this looks gorgeous. But these ones are more full coverage or velvet lipsticks, which they will definitely cover for a full done effect. But I just love this ones because they're everyday, very comfy, enough color. So really love it. And I did a video where I applied this and then this on top and it's just delicious. So if you, I'll, I'll put it somewhere so you can check it out. All right, we're almost done. Uh, but of course I have gray glosses. So hold on one second, hold on. All right, so I wanted to recommend um, the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. They're lovely. I own, you know, most of them in the collection. But I wanted to mention these three colors just in case. Coachella Coral. I pull this one a lot when I want a little coral kind of light uh, sort of color. You probably have seen it in my videos because, so when I want um, a coral, Lipstick, I always pull this one out and I have all their brands, but this is the one I pull. And Beach Perfect is just this peachy nude um, that is just perfection. Um, most people love the Pillow Talk. This has a little more color. The Pillow Talk washes me out. So this is my kind of nude from Charlotte Tilbury, Beach Perfect. But if you see in my videos, I also have pull it to put a little color like in the middle just to highlight or Right now it's very close in color, but you know. Um, so I pulled that one a lot. And then of course, just a honoring mention is the Pillow Talk Medium. This is, she was very famous, Charlotte Tilbury, for this rose gold brownish sort of tones. So this one is gorgeous for fall winter. 
I don't know if they will have it. I think they pillow talk medium. They still sort of go for it. All right, so those are the lipsticks. We've been through it. Now, um, last mention of the lipsticks, if you want a very bold uh, red lipstick, I would definitely recommend, um, you know, there's two or three brands. No, two brands. There is the Dior 999. That one is forever and ever and ever known. And I love it and I have wear it for years. But today, newer, I definitely recommend the Give Gwen Stefani. She is known for her reds. So you can go for this one, which is a liquid red. This one will not come off. If you wanna go the whole night, the whole day, whatever, this one. If you want a little darker red, you can go with this one. And I have videos on this too, if you wanna see the tones, the comparison and all that. Uh, but she also has Original Me, which is kind of a chine lipstick, red. Also have many videos on them. Lovely, I really, really, really recommend those. Um, so, okay, before I go to the glosses, uh, there's a set, there's a gift set from Clinique, uh, which I'm tempted of getting. I'm just debating because I already have the Black Honey, which is this, the lip. This is gorgeous, but in the set, and it's not that expensive, I think it's like 35. It has this, it has some blush, but beautiful, and kind of in this brownish tones. It has a highlighter. You can use that on your eyes as well. It has a eyeliner and mascara. So I think it's very worth it to get this Clinique set. I think it's, it's just gorgeous, just FYI. Also, uh, another mention will be the Give Eyeshadows. If you want a nude, right now I'm wearing one. Which one did I pick? I'm wearing right now Just a Girl. It's not my favorite, but it's a very lovely, it has a little more of the pink, sort of pink mauve. It's kind of a mauve, but towards the pink. You can see in, in this, you see that, and this one also. Um, uh, so this might not be my favorite, but the, the this one, Simple Kind of Life, extremely neutral basics. Uh, if you wanna wear a bold lipstick of any color and use this on your eyes, it's lovely. And then there's the very cool tones, and you can do many things with just those two. Um, eyeshadows and I really is clean beauty I really like it it doesn't affect my eyes I don't know why this I have not been have not taken off it's not favorites it's not people I don't hear people talking about it enough but I really like them they're they're different than different than anything is out there so I wanted to mention now let's get into glosses and then we'll wrap uh, with some hair stuff so glasses I really like Give This All My Love. This gloss with a lip liner is just perfect every day. You can't go wrong. It goes with everything. It really uplifts you. So I really, really like this All My Love gloss from Give. Uh, I have here the Lip Glow Oil from Dior. I really recommend this. Um, I used to love Clarines. They had a lip glow, which was my favorite of all times, better than this. But for some reason, they run out or they haven't been able to get them or, you know, it's being back order. I don't know. It, it had happened for Dior as well, but now they're, they're on target. They have it and it's no issue. So now I guess this will be my favorite. <laughs> and I have several uh, uh, colors. But this is very lovely, but it is a lip glow, I mean oil, so you do feel like the oil, perhaps to go to bed, or perhaps if you're doing a spa thing, or if you're having your rope, or it's one of those days that you just want to feel so moisture and, and, and nice and little heat, um, I would definitely recommend you this lip glow. What color is this? This is the cherry. They have another one, which I really like, it's mahog mahogany, I think. And it has a little more of those brown tones uh, that people are um, searching for now for fall or winter. I bought this because it's supposed to have a little bit of color, is this one. It's so tiny. I don't use it for lipstick purposes or color purposes. I use it more for that uh, moisture. When I just got out of the shower or 
you know, it just, well, right now as I'm putting it on, it makes my lips look fuller, I think. Mmm, it just feels nice, especially now that I've been talking, that I have, you know, I'm a little thirsty. It's just delicious. All right. Um, oh, my God. I want to mention a little bit of hair and perfume. So I'm going to do it real quick, like fast. So this is the time because this is for a sale and you get 20 percent, 15 percent or 10 percent, depending on your gear. And because you get you get 30 percent off of anything from Sephora. So the brush that I recommended at the beginning, the 99, I will jump on it on that 30 percent off. But for expensive items uh, for hair, they have this Oriva Everyday Essentials Travel Set. And this one has a shampoo, a conditioner, and kind of a, a, a cream for your hair. So definitely recommend this set. Uh, it's travel size. I got the signature shampoo, and I got the signature conditioner. Now, um, I always do with the sale. And now I have tried different of their kind. They have one that is kind of, what is it? Bright and shine sort of um, line. And I do like it quite a bit. I have used it quite a bit. And then they have this one, which is the signature line. And this one is in, I think in black. Yeah, I think this is what came in here. So this is the signature in black. And then the other one is in blue, metallic blue or darker blue. Um, I like both. I like both. I, this time I went to signature uh, line. I want to try it again, but what I have in my shower currently is the other one that shine. So that's what this hair is about. <laughs> but I think this one also gives you shine. So I'm not sure what is the real difference between the two, but I like both. And in this scenario, I thought I will want or like signature better than the bright and shine. So we'll see. Sometimes I change my mind, but I like both uh, and I really recommend it. And of course I have here, excuse me, cause I put it on the floor. The, um, what is this called? I never can remember, but the Epson Dia Dyson hair dryer is very, very expensive. It's like $400, but, uh, this is the time to get it when there's a big sale, right? This is how I got it. Now, I have mentioned it before, I have recommended it before. Of course, now that I spend the $400, how can I not like it? Uh, it's one of those things that before I tried it, I didn't know, and when I tried it, I'm like, eh, I don't know if it's worth $400 difference. But now that I have it, I wouldn't wanna go back to the old white because less noise, less heaviness, it blow dries so quickly. When I have my hair not totally wet, when it's already dry and I want to fix it, the heat is enough. So I, it immediately helps me out immediately to mold it however I want it. I don't know what it is about it, but it, it is much easier to do with your hair. Still just a blow dryer, but it does something. And I guess that's why so many of us keep buying such an expensive blow dryer because there's something about it. Um, so I couldn't tell you what, but I, I do recommend it. And to me, I bought it, what, two years ago? And so now I'm like, I'm so happy I did. You know, now I don't feel the pain of the expense. Granted, given the times that we're in, perhaps not the brightest decision to buy it, but if you can and you want, um, I'm, I'm happy I did. I don't regret buying it, you know, like sometimes you do. <laughs> uh, I think that's it. I promised I was gonna tell you what's on my cart. Uh, but I kind of have given it off as we have talked about. Uh, let me see, just, I have the computer here, just in case. I did mention the Deep Dior Lip Glow. I'm gonna get the Mahogany. Uh, the House Labs by Lady Gaga, the, the bronzer. I really recommend it. Oh yeah, the Hourglass Ambient Palette. Those are great. Uh, it's, my, it's not my favorite, it's my favorite for my mom. I buy that. For her every year so I will be buying one and um, but I did try it at the store and I liked it even for myself this year so that was interesting I'm gonna buy the the elephant the elephant one which is kind of the lightest one there is a rare beauty by Selena mini set it has a lipstick an eyeliner and something else um, 
I really recommend that one because the liquid eyeliner from Rare Beauty is, for me, my favorite. I actually don't have it now, but I did buy it because I ran out and I have so many, but it was my favorite. It's so easy to use. And the black of the liner is kind of matte, easy to wear. It looks beautiful. I really recommend it if you're looking for a liquid eyeliner. Uh, another one, I didn't mention the Clinique set. So I recommend that. I'm gonna get this Sephora brush, the 99. Um, and, oh yeah, the mascara, Pat McGrath Fetish Mascara. I really, really been enjoying that for every day. Really, it's just perfection. It doesn't bother my eyes. It elongates, it's thin, it's just lovely. I had a sample and I will be purchasing the full size. Uh, and you know, I get many samples of mascara. I mean, I have here a full bunch, but that one I think is special. I think it has replaced my, uh, what is it, Tarte? You know, I have the Roller Lash Benefits, some of my favorite. This, if you want, one of my favorites. But I think that Pat McGrath Fetish has replaced that one. That's how much I like it. Uh, and I will be buying the Merit lipstick that I told you slim. And I will be buying, uh, I, I put here a Armani lipstick, but I might not be getting that because I, I already have too much. You know, I have too much of the other stuff too, but I really like it. <laughs> All right, so I think that is for today. I hope you enjoy this whole run with me. Uh, and please, Tell me what you got or what you're gonna get for this Sephora sale. I can't wait to hear what you guys are getting. And uh, it's an exciting time because it's a sale and we all just get together and buy all the stuff that we ever wanted, but just didn't wanna pull the plug. At least that's for me. And uh, all the items that I let you know are for a very natural, I'm over 50. And so, um, yeah. All of them, very recommended. You can't go wrong. So thank you very much for watching. Did I say already? Please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell in the right hand corner so you know when I upload new messages. Yes, I think I did. And comment down below. Yes, I did about that. Okay, thank you very much for watching. See you next time, bye.